Aleluya. It's a regard of me putting myself in position, like John chapter 14 says, that if you keep my commandments and my word be in you, then you will be of my Father and I will manifest myself unto you. Now, so that word manifest, what do we think that means? Just what? Nothing? Appear, right? So, I'm praying the other morning, Sister Kate, and it's about three something in the morning. And, you know, I'm just praying and all of a sudden the presence of the Father comes in. I'm walking around. See, I don't even know people relate to that. We, we might have to stop the sermon there. See, that, that's something people can't relate to. I'm serious. But I'm praying. But see, I'm going to show you the manifestation by fruit, what I'm getting ready to tell you. I'm praying. And about 412, Father dropped something in my spirit. So in this phone right here, I write down the things that the Father impart in my spirit. And the Father imparted that this certain gentleman, I need you to show this or tell him these words. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. First of all, who in here has had an experience like that? Raise your hand. You see what I mean? Everybody ain't have it. Hands down. So, I write it down. Not knowing, but later on, I talked to this young man. He calls me. And but anyway, I talked to this young man, and he tells me, he says, you know what, Pastor? I, I was walking down the street. Now, listen to me real good. Because, see, this is why we didn't have manifest day. We, we might not be tied in. Because when we talk about the title and what we're going to be talking about today, they're going to understand. Because this is heavy. I went and spent, spent time with the Most High away from people. Because some of us, we, don't, we, don't, we be bringing things in. We carry things with us that I see. That you have on you and in you that ain't of the Most High. And with that, then that's not that's gonna allow you to be separate from him. Because this is what this whole thing about is being in him and of him and not being separate from him. You understand? So I'm talking to this young man, and he tells me I'm walking down the street, and all of a sudden a lady walks up and she says my name. And I I says to her, excuse me, what did you say? She said to him, your name is this, right? Yeah, that's my name. Then she pulls out a book and opens it up. Now, mind you, y'all said out of the mouth, how many witnesses? Two or three, right? <coughs> Another saint already saw this. Before this happened. Okay? Do you understand where we're going today? See, the Spirit is going to fall today. All we got to do is abide and really listen before we dig into this. I'm already tired. I feel the presence of the Most High right now. So I'm tired of playing because I know who Yah is. Yah is moving things around for His people in this earth. See, He said that <coughs> she had His name in this book. Never seen this woman in my life. My name is spelled correctly. Then she has under my name this consecration I'm going through. That I'm going through right now. Got these experiences I'm experiencing with the Most High. Wrote down right here in the book. Then under that she got something wrote down under the bottom. He said man after that. 
She closed the book. She kept walking. I walked off. I took about seven steps. I looked back. She's gone. Y'all hear me? You hear me, Brother Jamil? See, people ain't ready. People are not ready. Then she's gone. I said, man, I said, let me tell you something. I said, that's something, man. He said, I think it was an angel. I said, brother, I said, look, look. I said, let me tell you how wild it is. I was up praying this morning. I was praying for you. Yes, I know you was. This is what you was praying about, right? Yeah. I said, well, this is what I was told to tell you. And I read it to him. He said, man, that was what? This was wrote down in the book. <laughs> this what was wrote in the book. You hear me, Justin? Come on, somebody explain it to me right now. Somebody explain it to me. What are you operating in? What are you doing where you ain't being manifest? Well, y'all ain't manifesting in your life like this. He want to do it? Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. See, y'all is manifesting. He down. I got it wrote down. It's so much that's going that the Father wants to do that you got to position yourself. You're wondering why. Guess what? If y'all is telling you touch no unclean thing and he'll receive you, then you think he's going to touch anything unclean? No, sir. Mmm. Mmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Woo! There it is. So the title of our message today is A Peculiar People Set Apart Unto Yah. Hallelujah. Y'all hear me? A peculiar people. See, I'm talking right now. The Holy Spirit downloading right now. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Oh. Mmm. I got to understand. This ain't no feel good. This ain't a feel good because guess what? Some of us sitting right here, you, you don't even understand the rebellion that you walk in. Mm -hmm. And peculiar means that you understand your position that you've been called. Everybody that's sitting around this circle, you've been called to sit here today. You've been called to walk in what you're supposed to walk in. See, this ain't a, just a gathering and let's gather on the Sabbath and let's talk and discuss Bible. No, it ain't that. The Father is restoring. He's putting people in place. He's putting people in position. And people have to walk in the requirement of what it is in order for you to be of him. And therefore makes you being peculiar. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. See, we're we not going to play with this, but I want you to really understand. Look, our first point today, let me ask this question. What does it mean to be a set-apart people who is deemed as peculiar? What does it mean? Somebody, somebody right now. Somebody. Huh? What? Obedient. Obedient. We don't even need to say nothing else. See, we talked about the consummation of marriage, and I got a few people I've been talking to about their stuff. You said you just finished, right? Yes, sir. Did you understand that? Yes, sir. See, it bring a different light to what this walk is about, don't you? Because, see, then you understand, because, see, just like y'all, you want your wife to be obedient, don't you? Just like me, I want my wife to be obedient. I don't want to be a bunch of talk and a bunch of things, especially when I'm striving every day to walk by example. See, I, I mean, I ain't sending nothing out at you to cause you to stump. Hallelujah. Right? Mm -hmm. See, that's the same way y'all is treating us. He ain't sending nothing out that's going to cause us to stumble, but at the same time, it's up to us when it comes unto us whether we're going to walk in it, whether we're going to receive and yes, be sir. of that which has come to us in the form of instruction. Yes, I'm just telling you. See, I keep it so plain, but we have amazing experiences. Mm -hmm. See, the thing about it is, I have been praying that these folks that surround me, that you have experience you can't explain. Did y'all have an experience that y'all can't explain, Saint? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, uh, uh, an right? Yes, you yes, can't sir. explain it, can you? <laughs> I've been praying for it, and it ain't false. It ain't false. But it's about being peculiar. You got to understand. Y'all is who he say he is. Yes. The Holy Redeemer is coming. Yes. Is any of that false? Yes. So then what you think you got to do to be ready for it? Do your will. 
You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You ain't peculiar then. Open up, uh, Miguel, to Exodus 19.5. Brother Miguel, I need, I mean, Brother Snow, get Deuteronomy 14.2. 19.5, Exodus 19.5, Deuteronomy 14.2. See, let, let's listen up. Let's listen up. Because I want you to understand, see, this is mandate. This is what Yah has sent out already in the earth. See, this is what we cannot change. This is already is, was, you got it? And will be. See, concerning him and concerning his people. All right? Let's go. Exodus 19, 5. And now, if you diligently obey my voice. Now, stop right there. He said, if you do what? If you diligently obey. So, that means what we were just talking about. We were talking about the category of being peculiar. Y'all got it? So, we're talking about being peculiar. So, listen again. Start it over, Brother McGill. Read it right now. And now, if you diligently obey my voice and shall guard my covenant. Now, now pause. Obey who voice? His voice. Yours? His. His. See, that's where, this, see, that right there is we can, we can shut the whole thing down and we done. Right? Amen. Come on, finish reading. Then you shall be my treasured possession above all people for all the earth. Is mine. Ooh, listen to what he said. Mm -hmm. You shall be what? Treasure. Above what? Oh. Ooh, that ain't what y'all want though. That ain't what y'all want. They don't want it. But Trevor, they don't want it. People don't want that. He didn't open it up so you can come and be a treasure, treasured possession above all people. That is where. Yeah. And he can do that because the earth is what? Yes. He is. Deuteronomy 14 2. For thou art holy people unto Yahweh thy Elohim. And Yahweh has chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Now look, see, this is a this is why we finna go deep. I promise you, you don't want to miss this. You better pay attention. You don't want to miss it. He, he chose you to be a peculiar people. He chose you to be peculiar. So then you got to understand. See, this right here is what's <coughs> written. This is in, inscribed. <coughs> Meaning that you're going to have to understand that he said these people is above what type of people? All people. All people above all nations. Now, here's the question. Do you think y'all changed his heart about that? No. Not at all. That's why you got to understand what being set apart is. You can't be defiled and set apart. Because otherwise the manifestation don't come. It don't. The manifestation don't come because you are defiled. You mean something is in your mind. Something is in your speech. Something is in your eyes. You hear me? In your hearing. Something is in your hands. That ain't right. You understand? Finish reading. That was it? Hallelujah. First Peter 2 9. First Peter 2 9. Now, so while he's getting it, first Peter 2 9. Oh, you, oh, hallelujah. Y'all got it. I forgot y'all had pulled it up. Hallelujah. So I like it when it just flow. Hear me to leave. See, the thing is this, JC, is that I've been talking too much. See, before you was born and before I was born, y'all chose that I was going to be standing up doing this. See, that's what that's what people, see, that's what they missing. It's messengers in the earth just carrying this stuff. Because I ain't, none of this is my word. I ain't telling you nothing about me. Nothing up here that I said was concerning what I want y'all to be for me. Nothing. And if that's what you feeling and jealousy and envy is up in you, then you missed it. You might as well get up. Pack your bag and go on, because this ain't just a meet-up spot. Hallelujah. Listen to the word. Let's go. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a set-apart nation, a people for a possession, that you should proclaim the praises of him who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. All right, so 
in that, then I believe our question has been answered about a peculiar people. Today it is my hope that you be found among those who choose to be in line with the standards set out for being peculiar. Did you hear what I said? It is my hope. I ain't nothing I can do for you. I can't twist or turn. I can't make, because I, I understand. See, being a pastor, Pastor Fox, you learn a lot of lessons about making. See, making ain't, ain't got nothing to do with what people are going to do. Y'all hear me? You can't make people do nothing. You can set standards, but y'all sees and hears. Mm. You hear me? Yes, sir. He sees and hears. Yes, he does. Now, to Yahweh, this is a very serious matter concerning his people who are dwelling in the earth. This is a serious matter for Yah. Listen to me. You hear me, Jalen? This is a serious matter. See, this ain't about going to school and then your your, your classmates seeing you with you, you got your head covered, you got dresses on every day, and you, you you know it's like all the other girls. Listen to me, all you young folks, listen to me. You don't understand the advantage y'all have right now. Because here's here's the truth about this, all you young folks, all these adults sitting around. Some of these folks are not going to believe because they are not as little children. Y'all said, be ye as little children. See, you ain't got no whole bunch floating around in your mind. You ain't read a whole bunch. You ain't been defiled with a whole bunch of experiences. So, therefore, you taking what I'm saying right now and you taking it to heart. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Don't let nothing hold you back from that. See, the only way I got here, I had to be like a little child. See, when you go through a storm and y'all put his foot on your neck, then guess what? You come out as a little child, don't you? Yeah. Anything, anything he do for you, anything he say, you, you gonna perk up. As long as it look like light, not dark. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm telling you. So this is a serious matter concerning his people. Him, Sister more. It's a serious matter. So we're going to dig in because, see, Yah has took a displeasure in his possession because of backslide. That's the first issue. What is backsliding, somebody? Huh? Turn away. Giving a, a covenant, mm -hmm. decreeing the covenant that you will, but you don't. Mm -hmm. With your lips, you honor me, right? Mm -hmm. With your heart, right? Mm -hmm. So let's listen to something. Let's go to Yahoo. Let's go to Je uh, Jeremiah eight five thirteen. <laughs> Jeremiah eight five Let's go. Jeremiah 8, 5 through 13. Why then has this people, Yerushalayim, turned away in continual backsliding? Now stop. Y'all says, why has... Well, what was he concerned about? His people. His people doing what? Backslide. Turn around in what type of backslide? Continual. Continual. See, he ain't just talking about backslide. We're talking about continual backslide. You got to listen because I'm talking about, see, you, though it's on the page, this is us. It's us. Think about it. Think about how hypocritical it is to gather around at the feast knowing that you ain't thought that much about Yah. You ain't. You've done a few things and said a few prayers and read a few scriptures, but you ain't ran in this. Huh? L listen today. Yes, sir. Finish reading. They are strengthened in deceit. They refuse to turn back. I have listened and heard. They do not speak right. 
No man has repented of his evil, saying, what have I done? Mm. They all turn to their own course, like a horse rushing into battle. Mm. Even a stork in the heaven knows our appointed times, and a turtle dove and a swallow, a thrush, guard the time of their coming. But my people do not know the right ruling of Yahweh. How do you say we are wise, and the Torah of Yahweh is with us. But look, the false pen of the scribe has worked falsehood. The wise shall be put to shame. They shall be broken down and caught. See, they have rejected the word of Yah. So, the, so what wisdom do they have? Therefore, I give their wives to others, and their fields to possessing ones, from the least even to the greatest. They are all greedy for gain, from the prophet to the priest, all act falsely. And they heal the breach of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they ashamed when they had done abomination? No, they were not at all ashamed, nor did they know how to blush. So they shall find among those who fall. They shall stumble in the time of their visitation, says Yahweh. Right. So, here it is that Yahweh has declared something against the people that he loved. The people who he said was a treasured possession. The people who he said was peculiar. And so where we have to stand today in our hearing and listening is we're going to have to understand that Yah is talking to them, but he's talking to the generations of Israel. He's talking to those who would draw near and understand that his hand is not slack. Yes, sir. Because if you understand that, then your course of action should change. Y'all should be manifest in your life. You should produce the fruit that is meat for repentance. You should show forth your works. That you do walk in his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Just in a simple gathering as this, when we come and gather around, I can just tell you just on the first day of being here down on the land today, the rebellious Israel shows up. The stiff-necked, haughty Israel shows up this weekend. Because everybody want to do that. You want to do your thing. You... You, 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 who you are is so important. I just pray about this people. Do we understand? Do we? Let's go. I'm going to read Jeremiah 8. 18 through 21. When would I comfort myself against sorrow? My heart is faint in me. Behold, the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people, because of them that dwell in a far country, is not Yahweh in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their graven images and strange vanities? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter is my people and I am hurt. I am black. Astonished have taken hold on me. Astonishment have taken hold on me. You know what he said? You know what y'all said? Y'all said he was what? He was glad. He said he was what? He was sad. Was he hurt? Yes, sir. Did you know that, brother Nick? We hurt y'all? With your rebellion, you can hurt Yah with your rebellion. But what concern is it of yours? Because you want meat, right? And you want shelter. And you want what else you want? And what else you want? And what else you want with all the requests you got? Uh. Right? Yes, sir. Because you need Yah. All your prayers is Yah needs you. Yah, can you do this? Where's the glorifying? Come on. Yes, <laughs> Where is the separating? Yes, from what's in your flesh so y'all can he can have his valor in, in what 
He wants you to become. With all your requests. Right? Yes, sir. See, man, you got to hear it today because, see, being a peculiar people is y'all. I need, I just need an army of people who's going to die today. They line up over. I just need an army of people that's going to die today, self, to line up right there so I can just march them down the road of glory the way I need them to. See, if your wife came in on day one of your marriage giving you instructions, then what? What type of marriage do you have? See, we, we, we got to hear. We got to understand because look what it said. Yahweh has pain and ache at heart because Yisrael has not received from his hand the good things as a bride do her bridegroom. We ain't, we ain't received it yet. You ain't, Israel has not, you ain't, you ain't done it yet in no generation. But who are you? Are you Israel? Are you? But you ain't received it yet? Something's wrong. Let us take note mostly at how Yahweh expresses great lamentation towards the nation Israel has become. Let us look at that in Jeremiah 9. 1 through 14. Let's listen to this. Let's just listen real good. See, I, I ain't just saying this. I, I just laid something out to you because if you understand this, you're going to understand why I'm standing up here today talking about being a peculiar people because I said we have not done it yet. Why gather? Why keep the Sabbath? You can just go to church to feel good. You can do Sunday. You can do whatever you feel like doing. That's going to make you feel religious. Because your whole purpose for coming, you saw that y'all draw drew you. How many of y'all go to a place of employment your first day like, look, and, and you tell your manager, and I need you to get over there on that line over there, and I need you slicing the bread. Right? None, because you scared of, scared of boss man. Right? But Yahweh, because you don't see him, and he ain't manifest in your life yet, then you, you just think these prayers you be praying ain't going to where you think these words you say when you by yourself. That you don't think nobody here. Y'all here? You better believe. Let's go read it, my brother. Oh, that my head were waters, and my eyes a fountain of tears, and I would weep day and night for the slain daughter of my people. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place for wayfaring men, and I would leave my people and go from them, for they are all adulterers, an assembly of treacherous men, and they bend their tongue like a bow. Stop. You hear what he said? They all. And they being what? Their tongues. See, listen to what he's saying. This is what I'm trying to tell you. It's, just, it's as much as you speak when you by yourself. Yes, and you allow Satan to play on your mind. And the position of your not understanding on why you are called to do it. See, that, that's, your, that's what you got to do. See, one thing I'm glad y'all has done with me. He made sure you ain't just—he didn't just bring me in the way. He made sure I understood that I had a purpose in following. My purpose was in following, not leading. So I'm only up here doing because I had followed some instruction. And then he said he gives to every man according to what? So then my measure keep was then to all right. Since you listen, I need you to not proclaim this to brother Keep and anybody else that's gonna hear. Right? They bend their tongue as a bow. Listen to what, listen, listen to y'all. He expressing. He, I said, listen to the lamentation. I ain't just talking. These words ain't just words I picked to be on here. Listen to the lamentation. What's going on? That means when somebody's lamenting, what what it mean? He crying out, right? Yes, sir. He expressing a deep disdain. 
That means you got to listen. Don't exclude yourself. Get in there with Israel, a part of this thing that y'all hate. So you can know that y'all ain't happy with you are the generation that paid. Listen, let's go. Falsehood and not truth mm. prevails on the earth. For they proceed from evil to evil. And they have not known me, declares Yahweh. Let everyone beware of his neighbor and not trust any brother. For every brother catches by the heel and every neighbor walks with slanderers. Now pause. pause. Now notice Yah said every brother catches by the heel. Now that's a that's a something we could dig into, I'm telling, because that is a Hebrew concept, if it ain't nothing else. To catch by the heel. That is look. I, boy, I've been doing some studying, and that right there, that just put it like this. You talking about to really cause stomach or to trip mm -hmm. up. Yes, sir. To lie and wait. Yes, sir. To not allow others to progress in. Just in concept. Just, just, just leave it right there. Come on. And everyone deceives his neighbor, and no one speaks the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak falsehood, and have worried themselves to crook. You live in the midst of deceit. Through deceit, they have refused to know me, declares Yahweh. Therefore, thus says Yahweh of hosts, See, I shall refine them. And shall try them. For what shall I do because of the daughter of my people? Their tongue is slang is a slang arrow. It speaks deceit. Speaks peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth, but in his heart he sets his ambush. Would I not punish them for this? declares Yahweh. Would I not revenge myself on such a nation as this? I shall take up a weeping and a wailing from the mountains. And for the pastures of the wilderness with a lamentation, because they have burned up without any passing over, nor has the voice of the cattle been heard. Both the birds and the heavens and the beasts have fled. They have gone. And I shall make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a habitation for jackals. And the cities of Yehuda I shall make a waste without an inhabitant. Who is the wise man that he understand this? And to whom has the mouth of Yahweh spoken that he declares it? Why has the land perished? Has it burned up like a wilderness with none passing through? And Yahweh says, Because they have forsaken my Torah, which I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice, nor walked according to it, but they have walked according to the stubbornness of their own heart. And after the bells, which their fathers had taught them. Therefore, thus said, See, I am making this people eat wormwood, and I shall make them drink poison water, and I shall scatter them among the nations whom neither they, they nor their fathers have known, and I shall send a sword after them until I have consumed them. Thus says Yahweh of hosts, Discern and call for the mourning women that they come, and send for the wise women that they come and let them hasten and take up a wailing for us and let our eyes run with tears and our eyelids gush with water for a voice of wailing is heard from Zion how we are ravaged we are greatly ashamed because we have forsaken the land because we have been thrown out of our dwellings but hear the word of Yahweh O women and let your ear receive the word of his mouth and teach your daughters wailing and each one on her neighbor's lamentation. For death has come through our windows and has entered our palaces, cutting off the children from the streets and the young men from the squares. Speak, thus declares Yahweh. The corpse of men shall fall as dung on the face of the field, like cuttings after the reaper, with none to gather them. Thus says Yahweh. Let not the wise boast in his wisdom. Let not the mighty boast in his might nor let the rich boast in his riches. 
But let him who boasts, boast of this, that he understands and knows me, that I am Yahweh, doing loving commitment, right ruling, and righteousness in the earth. For in these I delight, declares Yahweh. You hear that? Yah said, in these he delight. What do he delight in? Right. You hear that? See, and so, he, so ain't no way around it. That's what he's telling you. See, you, we have taken ourselves so far away from that one because the generations have been cut off, just like he was telling you. He cut them off and scattered them around. So knowing that Israel was going to be scattered, then nobody was going to be kings and priests to the nation. Nobody was going to be set up high above the other nation. Nobody was going to be in position to be what Yah needed them to be when they was among the other nations. So then therefore in the calling, that's why I said, that's why you are back. This is why you, you are drawn near. See, Yah will use them who have made themselves a willing vessel to be used. See, this ain't sound basic, but guess what? Basic ain't enough. Because obviously we ain't getting it done. See, many have not devoted themselves to the seriousness of the matters that Yah has shown us concerning the conditions that separate. What did y'all do? See, you was, Israel was once in the land, but Israel was disobedient, so what did he do? Separate. Separate, right? Move them far from. Right, today we will read Psalm 78 because it points to the, com the compassion of Yah and the rebellion of Israel, which is a continued problem in every generation. That's a, that's a big problem problem. That is a big problem. I want y'all to hear it. I don't want you to let this go past your ears. Don't let nothing stop you from hearing today. In this feast of Shavuot, we are again reminded that Yah has chosen us and have given us a covenant that sets us apart in holiness. Is this generation any different than the previous? Is it? Is it? No, sir. No, sir. Why you say that? But these people that, that come fellowship at Shabbat every week, they ain't, they, they, nothing different. Go ahead. Get him? All right. So then, in fact, the establishment of Greek Roman church ideology and religious practices has truly caused the world to be oblivious to what Yah is truly concerned about and what he truly loves. You hear that? Because I'm saying it because you in this part of the world and we heard what Yah truly desires, didn't he? All he wants is his people to be holy, to do what? Righteousness and what? Right ruling. And it, 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 did we just read that? But that ain't the ideology. Because we ain't preaching the people and we ain't preaching that. We got to, man, I, I really see it now. What we are causing people to live in the form of religion. See, I'm not just talking. I, I wish I could pull this suit off so you can really see who's up in, who's in here. So you can see the glory of Yah's splendor. Because I can't make these things up that be happening. See, people think, he, he, Yah ain't say nothing to him this morning. And that ain't happening. Well, you can't make people leave nothing. But that's Israel's problem. You, hey, even if you do see it, you don't believe it. Mm. <laughs> so it don't matter. See, this thing that I speak is especially true for his people because of the deception and the hidden identity of who they are, as well as not being able to be in touch with their true given lot as, look, a peculiar and holy people. See, this is true. Because when you got Israel don't even know who Israel is, and you got people don't even understand, then I can tell you to come worship Buddha. I can tell you to come worship what? All of these, these gods that you're worshiping. Right?
Remember y'all said that the nations are as spittle or nothing to him. Remember he said that? So then how can we then preach all of these other things when y'all said the nations is nothing? That means he is waiting and desiring. He waiting on a people. That's going to somebody. So then I'm hoping today. That's why I said I hope today. I hope somebody here today. I hope somebody receive understanding and get themselves in line so that, guess what? Now you can begin to be among those who live according to what we are talking about right now. Right? Check this out. Y'all said in 2nd Esdras 656. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like spittle and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Now you got to think about what, what I just said. Listen, listen. See, don't get caught up in yeah, it's raining. I know it's raining. I know it is. But guess what? The <laughs> word of Yah, not mine, Brother James, the word of Yah is conveying something to us on how we begin to get ourselves in that state of walking in holiness. You understand? So we can meet what's set before us. Because see, Yah, if Yah said that he count other nations as nothing, then who is the nation that he desired? It's that simple, right? But then you call yourself who? With no manifestation. With nothing. Y'all ain't with you. But y'all said he would always be with his people. Right? He said he would manifest himself to them. Because y'all is waiting to do that so that, guess what? He can declare his great name to the end of the earth. Everything he do, he do it for his name. He don't do it for you and me. So you can look good. This ain't about past, of course, down looking good. It ain't about that. It's about us finding out exactly what we need to fit in, what, what's causing us to veer off. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 40, verse 15 through 18. Why don't you read that? Forty. Fifteen to eighteen. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very small thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing. And they are counted to him less than nothing, and vanity. To whom then will you liken Yah? Or what likeness will ye compare to him to him? See, again, that means that Yahweh loves his people, his heritage, mm -hmm. and covenant that truly sets those who look belong to him apart. Mm -hmm. According to what? His will. Mm -hmm. You hear that? See, he ain't worried about nothing else. So then let's go through a few questions. See, we, we getting down to the end. This wasn't long. I know I thought we was gonna be. I said six hours just to scare y'all. I know the spirit like that. <laughs> there you go. I know past court. I know y'all didn't talk to him because you got to him. <laughs> See how long his sermons be on the internet? Uh, <laughs> you be watching all of them. <laughs> I know. It's a meeting, but <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. How can we miss the fact that all nations who ascribe to a religion? Not know that Yahweh Elohim of Israel takes displeasure in their form of worship. Do we not know that? Do we? Listen to what I say, because this is important. Do we do we know that Yah takes displeasure in whatever form the nations do their style of relate uh, uh, of religion and worship? You have no pleasure in it. We know that. Okay. On a deeper scale, how is it that the Elohim of Israel is okay 
with different religious forms of Christianity that do not conform with what Yah is passionate about. Right? And what is that that he's passionate about again? His covenant. Right? So we understand that. All right, because we didn't get ready to get down to it. Then look, this is what I pray for us, for everybody that's here. I pray that, one, we all receive what the Holy Spirit is conveying, the Ruach, HaKodesh. I, I, I pray that we receive that, one. And I also pray that we truly receive that thing that the Most High is giving us through the Spirit, so that he preserve us as a righteous people. Because then, then you understand that Yah has a problem that all generations are going astray and that it's no, not one that is good. But then there, there's Brother Snow and there's Brother Shannon and Sister Soon. And all of these people. And oh, there's some people over there and some people back there. That have chosen me. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Because mm -hmm. see, we can really wind it down. Then this is what you got to listen to. Because see, this is what we're talking about when when I say I pray that. See, when you understand that Yah is after a generation that will turn to Him, then you can understand the purpose in Him calling you. Meaning that I understand that now this is what. I'm supposed to be. When I show up at these feasts, I ain't showing up to hang out. I'm showing up so that y'all can use me. I don't know somebody may need prayer. Somebody may just need to hear my testimony on what I've been through the last six months in my life. So that they can draw near. Because see, y'all, is see, it's going to be a point that we all understand. Wait a minute, you've been through something. And they've been through something. And Brother Miguel, been, wait a minute, all of these people been through the furnace of affliction. And Yah has tried them as he tried gold in the furnace. Refining them. So these folks being refined. So these are people I can trust. We can come and get, they got fruit. Then you can see the spirit moving in there. See, when the spirit moving in your life, this a whole nother, that's a whole nother deal. Since Mars came the very first time. A few weeks ago, right? We were praying. Holy Spirit, go over there and pray for her. I went over there and laid hands on her. Boom. Blood sugar went down, didn't it? Bam, right there. Are we, we understand? Is that something to rejoice in? Hallelujah. We talking about y'all move. Why, why we want to keep holding y'all hands short like he ain't moved? She been coming ever since. That's, look, that's all it took. Boom, y'all to show up. Pop. Right? <laughs> I know where we be at. That's what I'm talking about. We be missing y'all because we ain't in position. But I'm sitting there saying it to you, but the message is so plain. It's like, what is he saying? What is he saying? What is he doing? I don't know then. If you can't hear these words. Y'all sure said some of them won't hear. See, some of us be gathered. We, don't even, we still don't even know what's going on. We almost done. We still ain't heard. Now, what, did he, what did he say? What was the message about? Go to church? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. All right. Let's talk about this. Because, see, this is an important thing before we read Psalm 78. And this is why... I, I, I know some of us are going to hear because you got to understand that Psalm 78, man, from all the inscribers, from looking at the word of Yah being living. I mean, when I say living, see, listen to this before I say this. Remember, Hebrew is concrete. You hear me? It's just like you can't say that. Oh, there's a great covering over his head and there's a mist about them. No, we got a blue canopy over our head. Right? That's what it is. 
So, the word of Yah, the form, the name, right? The sound. All describes and put together some form of life and instruction that when you receive it, it causes you to do something. Therefore, causing you to begin not to stand in one spot, but to live life, to walk towards whatever that instruction is. That's what the paleo form of Hebrew did when you begin to put it together. Therefore, being the living word of Elohim. Just that simple. Not all this mystics. Now, from the spirit form become living when you see manifestation, things happen. When words say go forth and lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Then you go lay hands on the sick and they recover. He's like, okay, it ain't just on the page no more. But from the physical form of the word, this is what it's doing. So, you got to understand that Yah is explaining something in Psalm 78 that you got to take hold of. Because see, my whole point was rounding you up to understand we're not peculiar unless. You're not peculiar unless. You're not peculiar. You got That's what you got might have to tell yourself for a few weeks, a few months, a few years until your actions line up. You hear that? See, nobody going to want to do that, do you? You can walk in the mirror and say, I'm not peculiar. I am wicked and defiled. You can walk in the mirror and say that. But that may help. To get yourself on track. See, we're going to look at a few things in what I call a useless generation. Why? Because the children of Yah are spread all in these different countries. And we don't, we because we have gone away from his living word, because we have gone away from his instruction, it causes us to begin to go down these paths that keep drawing us away further and further. Like, let's talk about a few points. Daycare and turning our children over to the system that, look, nurture and rear children for wicked works. I was just talking on the phone, maybe. On the way down here, one of my good friends from St. Louis was telling me how his daughter came home from school and said, Daddy, they, they done played this song. He said, I kissed the girl and I liked it. And they, had, they was showing us how to be with a woman. And all. I said, see? Now look at it. See what I'm saying? But my children ain't never, they've never been, they, now they, when we had a few times, they stopped in for some of them hourly, few hours, mm -hmm. but you ain't been in a daycare program. Mm -hmm. You ain't, ain't been in a school system. And I keep talking to Demore, Gabe, and Rim, because they got probably, they can understand more. I think a die understand more. Mm -hmm. Right now, it seems like, I'm just joking with Demore, like. <laughs> <laughs> but... I explained to them this thing because I want you to understand that th this system is, is against yeah. This is this what being peculiar. See, I, I'm shaping something for you. You got to hear. See, those of you all that are not parents yet, those of you all who will become parents, those of you all who are seeing that Yah is calling us to do something to be peculiar, you gotta understand that's a problem. When you turn your children over that, over to that. Because remember, Adam and Eve wasn't turned over to sin until they was exposed to sin. Therefore, y'all called it the seed of sin. All them things y'all do is be planted. So you right. hear what I just said is that you protecting the seed of sin from being planted in that place, in that fast. Because you are peculiar people. You got to hear me. Hear me when I talk about this. Look. Belief in a false. Or so called. Elohim. And even look. Not even having no belief in the heavenly father at all. There's people that don't believe in none of that. There's people that don't believe in nothing. But you supposed to be the one that make that be manifested in. You are. 
Think about your daily life. See, I'm trying to tell you, it's, it's a fear. It's something we ain't in tune. Because guess what? It, it don't matter. It'd be some of this stuff be on a drop of a day. It'd just be bam. Go over there and pray for him. I mean, we walking through Sam's. Me, me and Sister Gabby. This guy was walking. See, and guess what? See, some of y'all are so religious that now you, you miss him because you can't go to him because his name is Yahweh Shot. So now you can go up to this person don't even know nothing about Yahweh Shot. Or your she she. Well, well, I mean, these folks is going so. They pass the fox. These folks is going. Because, look, let me ask you again. Mother, did I pray for you? Did your blood sugar level go down? It went down. All the way down. Look, I just lay hand like, look, like what I read. But you so religious that you 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 never gonna experience it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this man was limping through Sam's. I said, hey, hey, brother. I said, man, I said, boy, I like this shirt, man. So I, I get you, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh yeah, man. Yeah, man, what happened? Oh man, I said, boy, you believe it, Jesus. Boy, I've been seeing some people get healed. Oh, boy, they've been getting healed. Really? Yeah. See I, see, I get excited, but you be like, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work, but we, we can try. No, I, I be excited. Because I know what he's going to do. I get excited because I know oh, what he's going to do. See, you ain't doing because he ain't manifesting in your life. You don't even understand <laughs> what's going on. So, therefore, you ain't going forth with none of this. And all it is is a book. Just like the other books on your bookshelf. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. See, this thing that I'm talking about the Father is doing because you are the peculiar people, see? And he prepared. It's so much stuff that if I told you. Brother Seven, I, I've been praying in the morning one time. The clothes in the closet didn't move. I done felt people put their hand on me. And I'm the only one in there. <coughs> Do you hear me? Now, I ain't say I wasn't scared. I was scared as I don't know what. But I'm trying to tell you that it's stuff that's going on that I got to stay in this. I got to keep going. Because I want it, whatever it is, y'all going to show all y'all. Watch. Remember I said this today. Y'all going to show all y'all because I'm, I'm, I'm running in this. And y'all show he make it known among men. Those who are here. So if I'm still running, he's going to make it known to y'all what he's doing in my life. I ain't got to convince you on nothing. I ain't here to trick and twist. He already doing it. Look at this. In this useless generation. Children are turning on parents. And in some cases, they are murdering parents. It was a guy, remember that guy in Kansas City? He robbed his mama of rob. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was it his grandparent? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I said, look at this. Look, the word is true. But it's a reason. See, I'm saying all this for a reason. But we're going to hear it right in Psalm 78. It's right there. You got to remember this child. You remember nothing else. You got to sit in Psalm 78. You got to sit. Because everything I'm talking to you about, this Psalm 78 going to run it down. It'll keep running it down. And y'all will show you the depth of you being peculiar on why you got why you must. You must. You gotta act. You gotta be. You gotta desire. You gotta press yourself into being peculiar. Yes, sir. You do. Because this is going on, and who is the representative that's standing up showing the other stuff? Mm -hmm. See, that's why people, That's why I don't get caught up with Hebrew Israelite movements. Because, see, Yah show himself in, in, in his service. Like, wait a minute, he doing something. Mm -hmm. see, this, see, the, see, when we hit, when we go out, I've been asked several times to go out to the street. I said, no, nah, wait. See, the Father's showing something. When we go, man, people going to be getting up out of wheelchairs. Oh, I ain't going to have to yeah. say that. Bop, they're going to get right up. Bam. Well, who is that? Bang, we're going to keep going. No, y'all stay over there. With, with the tribe of Judah charts and all that. Stay over there. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 go, we, look, we are manifesting the earth. 
Hey, you hey, stand hey. over there with your long boy. You look good though. You do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but stay over there, right? <laughs> See, look at this. Nobody, <laughs> nobody cares what they put in their body. They don't care about the unnatural acts that they commit. They don't care about what they think. All right. Or, look at this. They don't care about how they are defiled. It don't matter. Knowing that those things deserve death. Because if you blaspheme against the Ruach, you deserve what? And it's all what men say they twist, they what? Tongue, Tongue as a what? Bow. They ain't listening. We ain't listening. This generation, this one right here, this one, this, this one I'm going to say right here. You hear me, Brother Flex? This one right here, I'm getting ready to say, listen to this. This generation is one of flattery. Oh, wait. Oh, you better hear me, though. You don't know how deep. Yikes. You better look that up with y'all. How flat. <laughs> y'all hate. <laughs> Woo! You ain't understand. Don't come up here where I call Jeff. Don't come Jeff with me, Pastor. You No. I, you, hey. I, I get away from them people. What? I, I listen. I listen to what people they try. Don't try to get close. Man, I don't, I'm trying to. I'm trying to do what y'all want me to do. Hallelujah. Among you. I'm trying to serve you. You ain't got to flatter me. Come on, Pastor. <laughs> this is one of flattery, lying lips, and deceit. And in turn, Brother Danny, guess what it breathed? Envy and strife. Because you then he, he trying to get close to me. And he trying to get closer to him with me. Now they striping, they, they cutting each other in. Man, I ain't listen. You got to listen, though, because I'm telling you, we great ghost world with some. I mean, it's going to be like, damn, it's for some of y'all, but some of y'all going to be like this, still look. <laughs> Get comprehension up. You won't read. You hear me? Phonics. They got phonics programs out there. All right. But it, it breeds envy and strife. All re always ready to take from a neighbor just to impress. And fuel behaviors that show that this generation is just full of wild beasts. See, that's why I look. That's why I tell my brother when I go to St. Louis. I said, "Look, look at all these wild beasts. Look at, them. look at." Them. But see, people hate that because it's like this. Well, you you black too. I didn't say nothing about being black. When I say about being black, I said these people are full of wild beasts. And they are. Whoever you are, it don't matter. It ain't, it ain't got nothing to do with color. Because I can go find people who just act like brute beasts everywhere. So you got to understand. It's about your actions and your character will make you make you of the most high y'all. What you exhibit. Because see, right now, we can get down with praying. And I guarantee every time we do, testimonies come. Every time. Not some. Every time. And it's gonna be greater than that. See, I'm just trying to tell you what what side of the fence are you on? I ain't look. I'm not say, saying we because people all, they all quick to say this. Pastor Fox said, "Yeah, they the ones gonna come knocking, saying, Lord, Lord, heal them." Okay, I know. But I forgot one of them apostrophes on the way you pronounce it. <laughs> Understand? There's no salvation for. Them. Y'all better listen to me. These folks don't exhibit what it is. See, saints, 
this is a horrible snapshot of seeing what exactly has become of the tribes of Israel in the places that they are scattered. That's a horrible snapshot. All this stuff I'm reading. Useless generation. These is this. Ain't nobody affecting nothing. See, I'm still waiting on the testimony. See, if you see this why this is why I get people, Brother Justin. In the Tanakh, Yah said, if they were hearken to him, he will heal them. And he will restore them. He will loose them from all their bondage in which where they are in bondage. But I see groups popping up, but people are still sick. People are still in bondage. People are still bound up. I mean, but we got groups, bunches. If you was who you was, it should be testimonies. Just like when the Hamashiach walked. When the Hamashiach walked, man, it was testimony. People, crowds was coming, droves. Because he was the one that was truly sick. He had came. He was manifest. And those who knew drew near to him. Everybody didn't draw near, even though he was doing wonderful works. Everybody that knew. How you turn water into wine? You ain't jumped up out your seat. Let me do that. Let's see what happened tonight. We all be married. I ain't say I do that. I'm just saying if it was. Right? But the thing is, is that it's a horrible snapshot that people are not doing. So look here, I want you to listen to Psalm 78 and know that Yahweh is Elohim who knows the crookedness of his people. See, I pointed that out because we, now we're going to hear crookedness, all right, we can ready to hear it, and there's things we got to discuss along the way, and look, we're almost done. This Look, we are in the 12th portion of our <laughs> teaching, and it's only 15, we're almost done. It wasn't long, but I, I, I just, like I said, I prayed that people here, because I knew y'all was going to come in sharp with what he was saying. See, some of y'all got, I hope you store it up. I promise. My spirit burning so much right now, because it was something y'all wanted to speak to somebody, so they can really get to the side and evaluate. Maybe you came, maybe you walked in this way, because you was black and you, somebody told you was Israel and you came in. Maybe you, the spirit auctioned you and told you that, look, I, I'm drawing people. Just come. Come to me. And you came, but you, then you, you, you kind of plateaued because no manifestation. I don't know why you're here. I don't know why you showed up at this feast. I know why. I did. Because I got one more day of breath, Father. Just let me, let us come together and know that this is the, you talking about this feast, this very feast we're going to have tomorrow is the day you sent in the Ruach HaKodesh. You sent in. And it, it was the, that, that's the thing that changed me. That was the thing that came in. Where I could let all them things go. I was a part of that useless generation. That was the thing that came in. That, that's what came in. Mm -hmm. That's why all these things going on. Amen. Sister Morris, that's why healing going on because the Ruach's moving. Amen. Through somebody like me who I knew wasn't worthy of y'all glory. Amen. Man, y'all better hear me today. Amen. You ain't just here for nothing. Hallelujah. You got to hear Psalm 78 so we can get through this. And understand, y'all gonna move this week. He gonna Amen. move. Hallelujah. I promise. Mm -hmm. I spent time on that floor. I know y'all is be ready to be ready. All you gotta do is you. He, it ain't gonna be by me in this. It's gonna be by you. You got to come out of it. It's, it's already been planted in. Y'all has already spoke to you about where you dealing at. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. I said what I was supposed to say right now. You know what you're dealing with. You're going to have to come. And you, he said, if you confess your sin. Mm. 
You hear it? Yes, sir. All right, we're going to dig in. Psalm 78, starting verse 1 through 8. Let's listen right here. Let's go. Oh, shit. My people, give ear to my Torah. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I open my mouth in a parable. I utter riddles of old, which we have heard and known. For our fathers have related them to us. We do not hide them from their children. Relating to the generation to come, the praises of Yahweh. And his strength and his wonders, which he has done. For he raises a witness in Jacob and sets a Torah in Israel. When he commanded our fathers to teach them to their children, that it might be known to a generation to come, to children who would be born, to rise up and relate them to their children and place their trust in Elohim and not forget the works of El, but watch over his commands and not be like our fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation which did not prepare his heart whose spirit was not steadfast to El. The children of Ephraim, armed bowmen, turned back in the day of battle. They did not guard the covenant of Elohim. And they refused to walk in his Torah. And they forgot his deeds and his wonders which he had shown them. He did wonders in the sight of their fathers, in the land of Ephraim, in the field of Zoan. He split, he split the sea and caused them to pass through. He made the water stand up like a heap and led them with a cloud by day and all the might, all the night with a light by fire. He split the rocks in the wilderness and made them to drink as from the great depths and brought forth streams from the rock and caused waters to come down as rivers. Yet they sinned still more against him to rebel against the Most High in the desert. And they tried El in their heart by asking food according to their desire. And they spoke against Elohim. They said, is El able to set a table in the wilderness? Look, he struck the rock so that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed. Is he able to give bread also? Therefore, Yahweh heard, and he was wrong. So as a fire was kindled against Jacob, and displeasure also came up against Israel. I'm going to stop right there. That was 21. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Saints, I want y'all to hear me. See, first of all, in verse 1 through 8, Yah has encoded this. She to let you know that the tour was never done away with. He said, when your children's children is born, do what? Teach, Teach them. To who? Yeah. Their children's yeah, children. children. See, this is how you get a useless generation when they forget Elohim. When you forget about him, when you forget about his ways, then I can instruct you in what I, but his ways truly sets apart. But the ways of the world truly defiles. Hmm. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, so in that, what has happened is that now you have either partaken in a portion. See, when you have places like this that's coming up, here's your chance. This is why when I see people talking about, and you get on videos with, with uh, people in Chicago and talking about, you li they was way out, and you can't talk to your family. They understand you. You wasn't supposed to be set apart anyway. <coughs> Cause you got ain't nobody making you. Anybody make you stay out here, Pastor Joe? Somebody stand right there at that gate with with a whip and a gun, ain't it? you? Bet not leave, right? <laughs> so you gotta understand these places is because you come out here so that you. Can work on being set apart. It ain't about you coming out because past, past Fox out there. I'm going out there. You ain't out there because he out here. You trying to be after the same thing he's after. You trying to come out and be set apart so that your children can be set apart. 
How else you going to do it? Because when you turn your children over to them, then guess what? They no longer set apart. See, ain't about, see it ain't about where you, you can do. No, listen to what I'm telling you. See, I understand. See, I do what I do because for me, it's that important for me that the more my firstborn. That me and him got every opportunity to be in this way. Because if the more he turned his back on the most high, then guess what? Matthew 19, 29 say. And whoever forsake who? Sons and daughters. Guess what? I say the more. I will forsake. It's on camera. I will forsake the more for Yahshua HaMashiach. Yes, I will. I said. So turn me into DFS or whatever you want to turn me into. I would do it because guess what? Ain't nothing more important. You understand? I'm doing this. You you better follow me. I'm teaching you the ways of the Most High. Because guess what? The Most High has lifted your father up to do things before you so that you may walk in those same things. It's just the strength of being who Yah has raised me up to be. At some point, when you understand that you're a son of Yaka, oh, you're a son of Jacob, then guess what? You you got a strength in the earth. You you are born with this. You're born with this strength. And at some point, the sons of Jacob is going to rise up and understand that in that day, when all nations flow to the mountain of Yah, and they go up to the house of Jacob, to the mountain of Yah, and they say to them, let them teach us their way, the ways of their okay. Elohim. The nation's coming. They coming to the sons of Jacob to learn about Yah from the sons of Jacob. From the sons of Jacob. But if you ain't living it, you ain't doing it. You ain't the one. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Y'all better understand, see... That's why he said teach it because there's a disconnect. All of them things I read, they can teach your son how to put on a, a, a condom and go into a man. They can play the song, I kissed the girl and I liked it. And your daughter get exposed to it because you ain't doing nothing about it. You turned them over. You turned them over. You did. So you ain't got no say so. You have none. You a peculiar people though. Talking about being peculiar, right? Seven. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Being peculiar. Yes, sir. That's why I tell them it's a must, boy. You bet not. You bet not. You gotta work. You can't mess up on your job. You can't, cause guess what? That means my children will have to go back. You hear that? That's what y'all meant. Y'all meant for us to do this. And he said, no, I see, I see it all laid out. And because we stayed in that crease, in that increase, y'all bringing it. Now, guess what? He getting ready to do stuff where it ain't going to get land. It ain't going to be no problem. Everything I've been telling him, have you been watching it happen? It ain't going to be a problem financially. And then guess what? This is for Israel. Because y'all said, I'm the one that give you power to do what? You hear that? He the one. And I'm watching it happen. I've been saying this for years, Pastor Fox, but it's happening. It's happening. That's why I say, I know we don't need, you don't need 8 million people. Y'all ain't coming back for 8 million. You're coming back for a remnant. Come back for a remnant. That's all those who had set themselves apart and did it. And he manifests himself to you. So you knew you was with he, he was with you and you was with him. You ain't gonna say y'all with me, but you don't know he with you. You just saying it then. That we knew that what he was saying when he said, Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? He knew. He wasn't just saying he said, Y'all already showed up. Some of us just say, oh, I know he's with me. But you, but you scared as I don't know what. You scared of the commitment it's going to take to be peculiar and set apart. You scared of it. 
Ain't no way. How you gonna say you? It, it's, it's a no brainer. You ain't died to yourself. Some of y'all, you standing around the head talking about I trust y'all. I trust it. Put the tightest string to me. I trust it. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't. Look what he said, man. When people have, Yah has continued. He continued, had went back and forth. He saw it. He, 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 he. Listen to you. He gave, giving you mercy. Then you go right back into it. Giving you mercy. He's showing us. Then he said, look, his wrath burned against them. See, what you can't miss in Psalm 78 is that Yah, regardless, he keep going back to this rebellious. He keep going back to these people. He just keep going back. He'll burn off one part of it and, and preserve another part. And give them a chance. That's love, man. That's love. Um, That's like, boy, you, you come home and you like, where you been? I was on a date. Then next week y'all make up. Then she on a date again the next week. Then y'all make up. Right? At some point, James, I'm, you know, I don't, me, James, Hey, I don't take that's a boy. I had to look at y'all like your heart is different. Yeah. Your heart is different. Mm -hmm. Me past the fox, I'm, I'm you. <laughs> you did what? But keep that's just me, brother. I ain't saying be like me. I'm just saying. Yah is, but you, that, but he he's after these people. So we gotta understand that people is casting off his people, and you can't cast off Israel. Matter of fact, you can't even change the makeup of this type of religion that we seeing out here that don't cater to what he desire with his people and through his people. And yet you still see in the end the prophecy say that he's gonna raise these people up again. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. All right. We're getting ready to read verse 52 through 72. All right. Now, see, I want you, <clears throat> before we read it, I want you to remember that Yahweh is proven in his ways, even though we continue to betray him. <clears throat> he can show us the almighty signs that is in the depthness of the heavenly places. But we will soon forget. Right? Yep. This is our problem as his so-called people. We want to see more and more and more and yet still rebel and disregard the deliverance and salvation that is to come. See, that's our problem. See, we all we want to do is say salvation. You, Everybody watch this and not even knowing what we're saying. Watch this, cause see, some this is improper, but this is what we've been taught. How many people in here want to go to heaven? Raise your hand. Right? See, ain't no going. You know? Did you know that? Ain't no going to heaven. He said heaven's gonna what? He said Shemaim shall what? Come down. He said Shemaim shall come down. But everybody wants to go. Everybody. But that's what I'm saying. But we do. We don't consider our ways. Man, I'm going to tell you something. I was praying once before. And I was praying for something really deep. And the Father showed me how unclean I was, man. And he ended up showing me in the sky this vision it was like these red eyes in the vision they was looking away from me i was here and the eyes looking when all of a sudden they turned on me and my body got hot mm -hmm. i went from kneeling at the couch to laying in the ground just crying out that day later on that day i guess on facebook 
One of my nephews I ain't even talked to in a long time. He's saying the same thing. He said he was getting tormented. But he would wake up with stuff on his body like whelps. He said demons was tormenting. Do y'all hear me? And he said he saw a fiery pair of eyes. This is the same. Then two days later, I got this stuff wrote down. I can show you what he said. Two days later, I'm in the closet playing, praying. I see a brown skinned man. He looks this way with red eyes, fiery eyes. He sends me a Facebook message saying he needed help. Because he said, I don't know, I was standing up. He said, like I was in my room and I was being tormented again. And it was like this man came to me and gave me a handful of black roses. And I heard a voice say, throw them down. So I threw them down, but one stuck in my hand. I got his message copied in my hand, in, in my phone. And he said, I couldn't get rid of it. He said, then a brown skinned man with fiery eyes walked up and, and disintegrated out of my hand when he looked at it and the rose was gone. Saint, the 19th of February, the 21st of February. I had that vision. I saw his message on Facebook. It wasn't about me. It wasn't to me. It was just something he put on Facebook. The 21st, I had that vision when I was praying. Then he sent me that Facebook message. Said he needed help understanding what was going on. Do y'all hear me? Yes, sir. What do y'all want me to do? I ain't making it up. See, I'm trying to tell you. You got to understand. See, y'all is doing things. I don't, for me, I ain't got to see more and more. Why well, see that? Then I know the word said y'all is great and terrible. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. So I know y'all is who he say he is. But you want to see more, more. You want y'all to continue to prove yourself to you. We ain't going to prove yourself to him. Psalm 78 is the same Israel. Let's go. Verse 52 through 72. Listen to this as we end this. But made his own people to go forth like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. And he led them on safely so that they feared not. For you when nobody's around, it's easy to accept things. And if you if you have read the Torah and you get understanding and the spirit has came, because see, you can't just walk in the Torah without the Ruach. But if you have walked in the Torah and understand, and then when these things come and y'all show you that you are getting ready to transgress and you just do it, you just go past, you just trust, it's called trespass. <coughs> You just go past because you because in your mind it's okay. Mm -hmm. Then that just flat out rebellion. Mm -hmm. And then guess what? That that seed of rebellion shows up in other stuff. Other stuff. And then all of a sudden then now you just you you ain't even walking anymore. Well, I don't think we really gotta do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Finish reading. So that he forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh. The tent which he placed among men and deliver his strength into captivity. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? See, people missed that, Pastor Joe. That he put the what? The tent of who? Shiloh. Of Shiloh among who? Men. Among men. And see, in Deuteronomy, he said, until Shiloh comes. See, people missed that. Thinking that the Hamashiach didn't even came. But it was in the Torah that Shiloh was coming. Mm -hmm. Oh man, y'all ain't listening. I'm trying to say, y'all, what are y'all doing? <laughs> Read it, brother. Let's go. And deliver his strength into captivity and his glory into his enemy's hand. And he gave his people over also unto the sword and was wroth with his inheritance. The fire consumed the young men and the maidens were not given to marriage. The priest fell by the sword, and the widows made no limitation. Then Yahweh awaked as one out of sleep, 
and like a mighty man that shouted by reason of wine. And he smote his enemies in the hinder parts. He put them to a perpetual reproach. Moreover, he refused the tabernacle of Joseph and chose not the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Judah, the Mount Zion, which he loved. And he built his sanctuary like high places, like the earth, which he established forever. He chose David, also his servant, and took him from the sheepfold. From following the ewes, great, great with the young, he brought them to feed Jacob his people, and Israel his inheritance. So he fed them according to the integrity of his heart, and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. All right. Now, so in here and there.